Hi, and welcome to this video on various cup options for your Fuji Semi-Pro 2 sprayer. I've had my sprayer for about six years now, and I started out with the quart cup that comes with the system. Uh, it's this one right here, and I used that for a couple of years before I moved into the, um, the mini cups. These are also made by Fuji, uh, and I, I went to these uh, to try and get something a little bit smaller so I could fit the gun into smaller spaces like inside drawer openings or inside cabinets. Uh, after I used these uh, for probably two or three years, then I, uh, I, I went on and tried the uh, 3M uh, system and this is their 13 and a half ounce system. It's a little bit larger than the eight ounces that the mini cups for the mini cups and so it also has uh, removable liners and I wanted to try give both of those a try. This is what I use now and I'm pretty happy with it. So in terms of cost, the the court uh, comes with the system, at least the one I got, so it didn't cost anything. It was part of the system cost. The cups, these, these mini cups, um, these will run you about 48 to 50 bucks right now on Amazon. And the uh, 3M system uh, will run you about 150 bucks. That includes um, $100 for the uh, adapter and the cup and then 50 bucks for removable liners and, and removable lids. And what you get for the 50 bucks is you get 12 removable liners and lids, and then you also get 16 of these uh, plugs uh, that you can use to seal up the cup uh, for storing material uh, overnight or however long you want it to airtight. So in terms of size, the, the, um, these 8 ounce cups are great in terms of trying to get into small spaces. They, they really have a small footprint on the gun. So when, when, they're, when they're attached, um, it, it's, it's really easy to get into small spaces and to, uh, um, to, to maneuver this, this around with, with the, with the uh, mini cup on the uh, spray gun. Unfortunately, there's only eight ounces in each one of these, so um, you're going to be refilling those fairly often as you're spraying, depending on what you're spraying. The 3M system is comes with a couple different cup sizes. The, the one I have is 13 and a half. It's called their midi size, and the 13 and a half ounces is a, a good size for me. It fits my workflow pretty well. I like it in that uh, it's it's obviously more than the um, the Eight ounce cups, um, but not not quite as big as the core. Unfortunately, what the, what they did with the adapter is I feel like the adapter is a little bit too long. So uh, when you attach the gun um, to the adapter, even though this this is only 13 and a half ounces, in terms of the footprint, it's really not that different than what you have with the core. So there's not a ton uh, of savings. It's, it's not as wide uh, and it's not as heavy, so it is still easier to maneuver around, but I really wish they had done something different with the uh, adapter. So these cups all attach to the gun the same, the same way. There's, there's a thread on the bottom of the gun right here, and each one of the cups has a nut uh, with a compression fitting on the inside of it. The, the uh, 3M one is an adapter, but it's the same, it's the same idea. It's, it's almost like a, um, the, the adapter has a compression fitting on the inside of it, and it's the same thread. So, so they basically just screw onto the gun, just like that. And they all do the same thing. Now, the difference is that the, these are part of the lid. Uh, so this is this this is part of the um, the mini cup lid, and this is part of the uh, quart cup lid. And the difference for the 3M system is there's an adapter that screws on. So the adapter basically screws on the same way as the other ones. And then once the adapter screwed on, that's going to attach to the uh, cup with uh, essentially the, there's a there's two um, these these like they're little like flanges that it that you push it into, 
and then you turn it a quarter turn. And then once you've turned it a quarter turn, they, they grab into it and they pull the adapter down into the top of the cup. So it's worth noting on the 3M cup that when you get the um, removable liners and lids, that there's a retaining ring on the top of the lid that you're going to have to remove. So you simply snap this off. You don't, th this you don't need. And then this is what fits down into the hard plastic cup. So you'll have the the hard plastic cup with the liner inside of it and then you, you put your lid on top of that and it snaps in place. It's also worth noting that on the uh, the, 3M, the 3M cups they, they sell cups that don't have a pressurization port at the bottom. This is, this is required for a turbine unit. So the, the Semi Pro 2, you're going to need this. And so the air hose basically attaches to the bottom and that'll supply pressure into the cup and collapse the liner and force the, the material out into your sprayer. They make other cups that don't have this and they won't work for your Semi Pro 2. So make sure you get one. It's called an H slash O is the, is the name of the cup. And I'll have links to all of the, the cups in addition to the names of, the, of exactly what you need for a Semi Pro 2 at the bottom of this video. So I filter everything I spray uh, with my HVLP and um, I use these 190 micron filters. The nice thing about the quart is you can place the filter right in the quart and pour your material right into that and that's pretty handy. Now you can't do that with the, the mini cups because the mouth is too small. If you try to pour it into this, it'll basically come out the sides. So for these, I use an uh, intermediate uh, container and I'll just filter into this first and then I'll pour this into the cups. It's also handy to have this uh, if, if you're going to be doing a lot of spraying uh, and to keep the material filled up in one of these separately and then as you run out just keep refilling these mini cups. These are only 8 ounces so you go through them fairly quickly. Uh, these, these are handy to have. They're made by the same company I think that makes the, uh, the filters and the nice thing is they have uh, lids that come with each one of them. Now the, the uh, the lids that come with the 3M system, they actually have a uh, filter right in the dome. It sits right in the top of the lid. And so that's a 200 micron filter. The ones that I get are 200 microns. So that's kind of an insurance policy against something getting into your what you're spraying. Uh, obviously, if I've already filtered with this, there really shouldn't be anything in there. Uh, but it's... It, I, I, I leave them in when I spray, so you can, you can pull these little filters out, but I don't do that. So as I'm spraying and trying to figure out how, how much I have left in one of the cups, the, these, are, these are hard to tell how much, how much, is, uh, how much you've gone through. And you, you can shake it a little bit and get a little bit of an idea, but since you can't see in it, you're going to have to open it up, which these are under pressure and you, you know, it, it means a stop in your workflow. To, to figure that out. These you can see right in so you know where you are with respect to uh, when to add uh, material and the same thing with the, uh, the 3M system you can see right in uh, the, the uh, cup to see how much you have left to spray. I mean I don't, I don't like running out of um, material uh, because I, I don't want to have to clean up if air gets in there and splatters a little bit of the uh, finish I, I don't want to have to deal with it. I would much rather refill more often uh, than have to deal with something that came out um, and splattered a little bit. So when you have to refill, uh, the, the quart the quart size cup is easy to refill. Uh, there's, really, there's really not much to that. These are easy to refill and it's a lot easier if you have some material saved in a larger uh, container somewhere else and you can just dump it in. Those, these are actually pretty easy to refill. Refilling the 3M uh, cup is a little more dicey. Um, first of all, it's hard to actually get the, the 
lid off of the removable liner. So what I end up doing is trying to pinch the, the removable liner uh, to the side of the cup or just hold it and uh, pull off the lid by sticking my finger in uh, the inside of it. What you don't want to do is you don't want to be messing with this to, once you put paint back in it. Um, you don't want this outside of the cup. So what you want to do is you want to get the lid off, fill up with material, don't overfill it, because if you overfill it, you can get it running down the sides and into the hard plastic cup. So don't overfill, and then snap this back on. At that point, then you're, you're, you're good to go. It's just getting this, this top off is, is, can be a bit of a pain. And if you're left with material at the end of the day that you would like to keep and just pick up spraying the next day, um, I, I've never done that with this uh, quart cup. It does come with a lid and I bought extra lids, but they don't seal. So when, when you put them in there, it doesn't really, it's just kind of a loose fit inside of this. You, you could put some kind of plastic wrap or um, uh, maybe uh, aluminum foil in it to seal it up and that, that might work or put blue tape around the outside and that might work but I, I never really did that with this quart cup. I always would dump it back into the container and then um, I would clean out the cup and then start fresh the next day. The mini cups on the other hand these are handy for uh, storing material. They actually have a gasket in the, the, the top of the lid and that'll seal airtight and, and keep your material uh, in, inside uh, ready to spray the next day. The 3M system also is, has an airtight uh, uh, plug that you can put into the top of the uh, cup. and. And after you've put the, uh, the plug in, according to the, the manual, you want to store it upside down. And that's to ensure that the material uh, comes in around this filter and fills, fills up around the filter. So number one, you have to have enough material in there to fill up around the filter. And the reason why they say that you want that is to ensure that the filter doesn't dry out. Because according to the manual, if the filter dries out, then you're going to have trouble getting uh, material through the, through the filter and out into the gun. Now, all of these cups are easy to clean. I just rinse them out with water. Uh, I only spray water-based finish, so that they're pretty much just shake them out with water and, and rinse them and let them dry. The 3M uh, cup, I rinse that out. So I'll, I'll rinse this out. And then the liners and the lids I'll also rinse out making sure that I get the filter on the inside of the lid clean and they're, these are also really easy to clean and I reuse these I, I've reused them for probably I think three or four days so is there really a, a, a good a better and a best out of these three systems no probably not it's probably more likely, uh, uh, like most other things, it, it really depends on what the situation is, what your budget is, and what kind of project you're working on. In some cases, some of those factors you don't even get to determine, they're determined for you. So um, I, I, I've used all three of them. I think all three of them work really well. They each have their pros and cons, and, um, but I, I don't think you can go wrong with any of them. So I hope you found something useful in this video, and I've included links for uh, the 3M stuff. I did find it a little bit confusing at first, and the picture that Amazon has for this particular adapter uh, is, isn't this particular adapter. So you can select the right one and order the right one, and, and, but it's not the picture on their site. So it, it's a little bit confusing. Thanks for watching, good luck on all your projects, and I'll see you in the next video.